Alright, so this one has a bunch of parts, but we'll walk through all of them. So a contractor needs 54 square feet of brick to construct a regular walkway. In other words, that's the area. Right? That's how much brick is needed. The area equals 54. The length of the walkway is 15 feet more than the width. So we'll set up a little square here. Oops. Square tool. Okay. Or a rectangle, I guess. Here the area is 54. The length is 15 more than the width. So this is width. I'll switch that so it makes sense in terms of being longer. If this is the width and this is the length, the length equals the width plus 15. Okay, write an equation that could be used to determine the dimensions of the walkway. Solve this equation to find the length and width of this walkway. So this is just like the question from before. Um, but here, the equation I would write is um, W, the width, times the length, which is W plus 15, equals the area. And then what I'm going to do is distribute the w. w times w is w squared, plus w times 15 is 15w equals 54. Um, set this equal to 0, that'll make your life easier. So subtract 54 on both sides. So w squared plus 15w, right, minus 54 equals 54 minus 54, that's 0. So now we want to factor this out. And again, you know, this, this strategy is just the, the strategy we hope we can use is that factors of this, of negative 54, that's our C term, should add to our B term. So B equals 15. So what factors of negative 54 add up to positive 15? So the factors I'm going to use, and, and you could list these out to find them, but eventually you'll find that we need two factors that multiply to a negative result. So one's positive and one's negative, and when we add them, we get a positive result. So to add two numbers that get a positive result, if one of them is negative and you get a positive result, that means what? That means the, the factor that's larger has to be positive. So here, I'm going to use plus 18 times negative 3. Now that, you know, that equals negative 54 when we multiply them, and when you add these two numbers, you get positive 15. So that means, and we're almost done, if we factor this thing, you can always factor it with the variable w plus the first factor we just found, 18, times w plus the second factor, or minus 3. And that means that if we multiply these two, we do get the expression before. You can test that out. But now we, we set it equal to 0, so that means these are two numbers that are equal to 0. First number and second number. So now, when that happens, we have two numbers that multiply to 0. One of them or both of them needs to be 0. So let's assume they both are 0 and see what happens. w plus 18 equals 0. So w equals negative 18 in the first case. In the second case, w minus 3 equals 0. So w equals 3. Now we can't use a negative, right? We cannot use a negative result here for our width. That wouldn't make sense. But we can use a positive result. So we use this one. So our width is 3. And our length is, let's see what it says. I forget. Oh, here it is. The length is the width plus 15. So if the width is 3, right, width equals 3, the length equals 18, right, which is the two factors we found here.